Hi, I'm Joaquin Ocampo, Product Manager for Bosch Rexroth Electric Drives and Control. And I'm here to introduce Bosch Rexroth Drive CS Servo Drive Amplifier and show you how easy it is to set up with a third-party PLC. Now you might be thinking, why an Drive CS? Well, the CS, or Compact Series, is the latest edition of the award-winning Drive platform. And this small drive provides a power range of 100 watts to 3.5 kilowatts and it comes in these two sizes. It comes with an open architecture, multi-Ethernet port interface that can operate with Circles 3, Profinet IO, Ethernet IP, and EtherCAT. It also comes with a multi-encoder interface that supports NDAT, 1 volt peak-to-peak, 5 volt TTL, and Resolver on many encoders. It also comes with a IEC 61131-3 PLC and safety on board technology. It comes with direct connect to 110 to 230 volts or 230 to 480 volts three phase. And it also has digital and analog inputs and outputs. But I'm here to show you how to set it up with Ethernet IP and show you how easy it is. So let's get started. With Ethernet IP, we could use various modes of operation. We could use single axis position mode, running velocity mode, open loop variable frequency mode, homing or referencing. But where we start is with our free downloadable Interworks DS software to set up the Android Drive DS. In this case, we will set up the master communication. We will select Ethernet IP. Here we select Ethernet IP and we set the IP address for the Ethernet IP interface. After we do that, we, do it, we go to the master communication settings and we do the inputs and the outputs coming from the master. In this case, the outputs of the masters are going to be the commands. And we will set the field bus control word, positioning command value, positioning velocity, positioning acceleration, and positioning deceleration. The inputs coming to the control are going to be from the drive to the control will be set as a field bus status word the torque force feedback value axis position feedback value velocity feedback value and the diagnostics message after we set up the master communication we will set the mode of operation mode of operation in this case will be drive control positioning and that is all we have to do with the drive now we have to go back to the PLC in the PLC, we have to insert an Ethernet module. We go to the communication trees and we select Ethernet module, generic Ethernet module. And here, we will set up what we set up for the drive. We'll set up the IP address and we will set up the assembly instance input and output and the configuration number. And we also will set up the size. The only difference is that in this software, this, in the PLC, it is blocks of 32 bits. And in the drive, it is, it is done by bytes. So we just have to divide what's on the drive and enter the number here. Once we do that, that is all we have to do. The drive is controlled by PLC. So all we have to do is set up the words and our inputs. In this case, in my logic, I have the input set up here to make the drive run, and I have the position command. So we will set the position command here and we will toggle it and we have motion. And that's how easy it is to set up an Ethernet IP with our Interdrive CS. As you can see, this saves a lot of engineering time and saves money. And it shows how easy it is to set up with a third-party PLC.